Don't you own a tractor? What's that got to do with anything? Well, pigs, I guess. Goats, too. Some fellas have chickens and cows. That's all well and good, but what's the point of a horse? Horses are God's most beautiful creatures. <laughs> what, you just keep a horse around because they're beautiful? Horses belong on farms. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, you haven't got a saddle for him, so you don't ride him. He's no racehorse. Can't eat him. What's the point? Well, I don't see the point in a farm without a horse. Gotta have a horse. Uh, and what's this about them being beautiful? Beautiful, really. Beautiful, he says. Spindly legs and bloated bellies and those weird, weird teeth. Sleep standing up. Who sleeps standing up? What's wrong with that? Aren't you going to say something? One day, one day maybe this feller will understand. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, to me, I mean. I keep apples here because he likes them. Likes the salt lick, too. Want to feed him one? Uh, nah, I'm good. Suit yourself. All right, here you go, boy. No, no, I got to get going. Why don't you walk on out to pass the rest of the spell? Oof. Horses give me the willies. Can't see why. Oh. Oh. You know, back home they call you the pig farmer. That description is apt. And yet, you also have goats. You also have goats. And a horse. And I had a dog. Tried cows once. Bill raised a newt or something, but uh, it died. Well, most people have, I don't know, chickens and cows. You got goats. Hmm. Is that uh, judgment I hear? <laughs> no judgment, no. Uh, just wondering. Why goats? Goat milk. Ah, there can't be much profit in that. Well, there's enough. Besides, I had you. Have. You still have. As I've said, I'm no longer interested in that particular revenue stream. We're the ones who sever ties. And you don't want us severing ties. I believe I made myself clear. You know... <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation a couple of times now, and you still don't seem to get that I'm done with this line is just going to look really silly at the end of the day. You were asking me about goats. Yeah, goats. I like them. They like to play. They'll eat just about anything. The milk's an acquired taste, but I've always liked the cheese. Meat's good with the right curry. A friend taught me that a while back. So... You like them for the utility. I like them because they're playful. Want to get started? Hmm? Started? Milking.
Oh, hey, really? <laughs> I've always wanted to try that. Well, here's your chance. My goats are smart. They know what's up, so we'll just walk up. Mm, here they are. Come on. Now, they'll just take their positions here like they do. I feed all ready for them. Just uh, you take a seat there. Uh, uh, not very comfortable. <laughs> mm, suppose not. Well, now that we're seated, all you got to do is grab the teat with your thumb and forefinger. And pull? No, 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 don't pull. Just sort of rhythmically squeeze with the rest of your fingers. Gently pushing the milk out. Ah, like this? <laughs> Just like that, yes. All you got to do is do that till the goat's out of milk. Huh. This is kind of nice. I found it relaxing. Well, I think I could get used to this. Well, why don't you? Say what? Why not get used to this? What, and come work with you? Sure. <laughs> yeah, some folks might take issue with that. Well, can't make everybody happy. Better than ending up shot. Hey, hey! <laughs> oh, gun down. Life over just like that. I usually get to shoot back. Well, we all wind up dead in the end, don't we? I'd rather live as long as possible. What good is that? Living? What good is living if you ain't happy? Is this? I'm not. You could be. I don't think I could. Well, that does it for the goats. Still, uh, thinking about what I've been saying? I haven't stopped. Changed your mind? No. No, I have not. What's the wheelbarrow for? Haul. Hauling what? Cow pies. Cow pies? Proverbially. And we are going to fertilize. Well, not now, it's October, but we're going to put it in a nice big pile where it belongs. Uh, we? Well, you did say you wanted to help. Yeah, guess I did. So help. Pick up that shovel over there. We'll shovel it in, wheel it out, dump it, and we're good. And you do this every day? Mm-hmm. Most every day. And you want to keep doing this every day? It's my routine. Shoveling shit? Someone's got to do it. <laughs> that, uh, that isn't the first time you've told me that. Oh, yeah? Vietnam. Yeah. You know, I did some digging on you, personally, not the shit kind. Know what I found? Uh, I reckon you'll tell me. You went back. What happened that day in the valley? You saw the report. I'm not going to talk about it. Come on. Suit yourself. But you got a medal. You didn't have to go back. Had a wife and kid here. In a time where most of us were trying to figure out how to stay home. You went back. You going somewhere with this? Hmm. Think it'd be fun if you told me why? 
While we're shoveling shit? I was recon. You know that, I reckon. Was in the hospital, staring at the ceiling. Magazines next to me on the bed. And I... I had this, uh... Moment. A moment of clarity. A revelation. Uh-huh. The revelation was this. Them protesters weren't doing a damn thing. The, the hippies and the, the bands weren't changing anything. You know who was? The Vietnamese? The Russians? No. The news. You hit someone hard enough day in, day out with the realities of war, pretty soon they'll tire of it. Vietnam was our first time that close to war. So, I figured, uh, you figure you ain't the only one of us who's killed people. Well, why do you think I offered you that job back in 74? Turned it down for the same reason I went back. They were telling us our patriotic duty was to go and fight for our country. Well, that's what I did. You weren't recon when you went back, though. Went back with a camera. Talked them into letting me help with the press, keeping them safe and all that. So I did. And I took pictures. Took all the pictures I could. I fought in a different way. Did you win? We pulled out a NAM, didn't we? Mm-hmm. And now you're here. Great big war hero. Shuffling shit. Yeah. Shoveling shit. You know what this is? A uh, tree? <laughs> well, you ever seen a tree like it? A, a tree's a tree. Remember all them roasted chestnuts at Christmas? Ah, uh, sure, sure. I mean, I kind of figured. Been by often enough to see the chestnuts myself. Why, is it special to you? This is an American chestnut tree. Oh, hey, Saul. Uh, he's telling us about his American chestnut tree. American, huh? Thought they all died. What? <laughs> you remembered. Pays to remember things. Like the American chestnut. Hey, um, I, I, I'm a little lost here. Oh, a uh, couple weeks back, Saul came by, said you couldn't make it. Business as usual. Saul had a bucket of chestnuts, asked if pigs could eat them, so we got to talking and I told him about chestnuts. Uh-huh. And what did you learn? Pork tastes better with chestnuts. And most American chestnuts had died off. It's true. Long before you were born, the American chestnut was prized for the quality of its wood. Jimmy'd like that. Oh, that he would, that he would. But this tree, there ain't many like it left. American chestnuts almost all died out because of the Asian fungus around 1900 or so. The chestnut blight. That's what, like a... Couple hundred thousand trees? Oh, billions. Four billion trees snuffed out practically overnight. Well, lumberjacks suddenly out of work in places like West Virginia. Those economies never recovered. I uh, thought West Virginia was coal country. And logging, too, before it all died off. Now there's trees like the General here making nuts year-round. And I feed them to the Reds, and they grow nice and fat and tasty. Seems lonely. It is lonely, heartbreakingly lonely, to know everyone else you ever loved has passed on. So, I look after him, and he looks after me, and I don't know. Well, Sadie and I, we, we talked about being buried here, you know. Changed your mind? Well, Brody's grave was enough for me, but uh, I don't know. I thought about having him moved. I don't, uh, I don't know. You've got plenty of years left in you yet. So, what's the moral of the story? With the, the trees, I mean. Be wary of outsiders. Heck no. There are trees out there that are blight resistant. Maybe even the general here, but I'm too afraid to find out. With enough time and horticultural understanding, we could have done something. Preserved all these trees? Maybe we could have. They are magnificent. It's just... It's just that... I don't know. 
I wasn't trying to teach you a lesson or anything. I just... But you did make a point of it. Uh, I did do that. I just... It's a part of me, is all. And God... More years. I'm... I don't know. I see myself as a custodian of sorts. And one day I'm... I just... So I'll go ahead and wait for me at the van. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Look. Look at me. You're thinking about dying. Thinking you can pass this responsibility off to someone else. You don't have to do this. Give the tree another decade of your time. Well, the time of my demise is sad. Someone ought to know about the tree. Jimmy'd love to know about this. Oh, Jimmy would cut it down. <laughs> he would. Please. Don't tell him. Hey, I'm good at keeping secrets, but... Jimmy's Jimmy. Let me rest here. And if there's a way... A way to... Oh, I don't know. Okay, okay. Hey, you got more to show me, right? The garage, huh? No tour would be complete without the garage. I have to ask, why a sports truck? I think they're called coupe utility, but, uh... You mean, why not a sports car? Yeah, I mean, I always figured you'd have a midlife crisis like the rest of us. Sports car, motorcycle, an affair, something like that. Couldn't really say why I love these so much. Saw mine one day, fell in love. With that? Mm-hmm. I had to bring her home with me. I'll admit, it has a charm to it. But she won't run. Well, pop the hood. Let's take a look. You're serious? Sure. Already had my midlife crisis. <laughs> Motorcycle? Sports car. And these puppies, well, you know, they're similar enough. Some of them even use the same engine. We can figure this out. All right. Now, let's see here. Can you get me that drop light? My eyes aren't what they were. Sure thing. Thank you. Saul's a good kid. Hmm? What's that? Saul. He's a good kid. I like him. It was nice, him coming by. Yeah? That's good to hear. Never met anyone with so much promise. Never? In my entire life. Saul's dad was a good man. Didn't think his kid had it. As a boy, he was too soft. But then he got older, graduated college, really came into his own. Eager. More capable than he knows. Hmm. Great listener. <laughs> Can you believe we were his age once? Hmm, <laughs> hard to admit. When I was young, I thought I knew everything. Yeah? And now? Today, I learned from you and him about chestnuts. Well, I learn something new every day, I suppose. You check the spark plugs? Hmm, give me a second. Uh, what about your boy? Bill? Oh, he's fine, I guess. <laughs> you guess? Hey, how old is he again? Born in 60, so, uh, 32 as of September. Huh. Roy would have been about his age. Eh? Yeah? Yeah. Well, wow. What's this about you and Bill? Oh, no more. What? Bill? Toe-headed little guy? Always friendly and outgoing? That Bill? It's, uh, it's about Sadie. Ah. Yeah. Hey, mind if I ask you a completely unrelated question? Mm -hmm. What's with the airplanes at your neighbor's place? Oh, Chuck's farm. Chuck? Huh. Yeah, what's with all the planes? There's no runway around here. Uh, you know how farmers are. 
Hey, have you checked the air filter? Yeah. And, yeah, I know how you are. You got plenty of junk, too. But I've never seen anyone else with, uh, uh, what are they, World War II bombers or something? I think he has a B-36. No kidding. You got no idea what a B-36 is, have you? Yeah, I'm the foggiest. Well, a B-36 is a big old bomber made out of magnesium. Biggest America ever had. Took two train tankers to fill one up. And you could fly from Monday to Thursday without refueling. So why does Chuck have one in his backyard? Plus all the other... Asked him about that once. Hmm. Okay. Wire's loose here. Where? Right there. So, what'd he say? Oh, uh... <laughs> dead navigator came to him in a dream. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Dead navigator from the Korean War came to him in a dream, said the planes were in danger of being lost, and it was up to Chuck to save them. So Chuck's crazy. <laughs> well, eccentric maybe, but, uh, well. Do you believe in ghosts? If I did, I'd have a different job. Why, do you? Well, I figure we all move on in some way. Energy is neither created nor lost and all that. So you're saying a dead navigator came to a farmer in the middle of nowhere, no offense, and told him that it was his job to preserve airplanes? Yep. So now there's a bunch of planes on a crazy coot's farm. And he keeps them safe. Can you think of a better place for him to be? Hmm. No. Want to try running it? Nah, I trust you. Well, suit yourself. Where to next? Shotguns, huh? I always liked shotguns. Liked? Still do. I like revolvers myself. When it's for sport. Got a few of those. Oh, yeah? What's your favorite? Them big slab-sided ones. They have a... a charisma. What about you? Oh, nothing special, really. 357's when I can. But this is a shotgun. Yep. Figured we could shoot some skeet. Always liked shooting skeet. Taught Bill to shoot this way. Name a father that couldn't. So, how do we do this? Uh... I'll go first. All right, then. Hm. This is more my speed. Hanging out, shooting guns. Maybe a few beers next time. I'm not sure guns and beers mix, friend. Oh, sure they do. Oh. Like peanut butter and very dangerous chocolate. Next time. Trust me, next time. And there isn't gonna be a next time. Oh, there's always a next time. After today, we are done. I've tried to tell you. I keep trying to tell you. There is no out. There is no done. You keep doing this. Or you never do anything again. It's permanent. Kaput. And it's kaput. You don't mean it. If that's the way it got to be. You have a choice. You haven't listened to a word I've said. I've been listening. I've been listening all morning. I've been listening to you talk about being sad and lonely and refusing to listen to reason. I have my reasons. Reasons are not They're mine. Walk me to my car. So, this is it then? It is. Why? Why are you doing this? Because I need to. <laughs> We're friends, goddammit. You don't get to get all stoic on me. I know losing her was hard, but there's gotta be something. Gotta be. I can't take care of the farm like I used to. There isn't much point anymore. So sell the farm. Move into the city. Meet someone new. Do you... Believe in hell. Do you believe 
in hell. I'm not scared of hell, if that's what you mean. I didn't ask if you were scared, I asked if you believe. Uh, I don't know. Well, I do. And I think... I think doing this... I think that's where I'm headed. And what? You think you can buy your way into heaven? I can't take back what I've done. What I can do is do something right. Why? Because I want to see her again. That's all. I just want to see her again. And I figure... I'll do one right thing with my life. Just one thing. Maybe I'll get to see her again. One more time. And this is your one right thing. It is. How do you know? How do you know if any of this is true? I don't know. But I got the notion. And the notion's got me. So... The least I can do is, uh... Tell you adios. Just like that. What else is there to say? Not much, I guess. No. All right, then. Have it your way. I'll be back this evening. You get an afternoon. Do whatever you gotta do. Just, uh... Leave the door unlocked. I can do that. Adios, friendo. Be seeing ya. Come on. Hey, nice catch.
this cash. Catch. Ooh, nice catch. Come on. Oh, don't do that. Catch. Oh, 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 do not do that! Come on. Oh, don't do that! Catch.
last catch. 